Hello guys, today I'm uh, beside a park on the street trying to operate in the car with this uh, M104 antenna kit. And let's see what I can get today. Let's go. First, we clamp the edge clip to the side of the car and secure it. Next, put the end of the feeder cable in to hold it in place. Then we attach the grounding enhancing suction cup to the car. Today's got a bit of rain going on, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Let's now take a look at our main character, the M104 antenna. We begin by installing the antenna base. We'll start by operating in the 20 meter band, so, picking out the 14 MHz coil and mount it. And then we'll pull our antenna whip as far as it will go. Alright, we are set up, now we can start measuring. Let's connect the VNA. We are using the SV4401 VNA 4G. We have already calibrated it. If you're interested, stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Let's look at the smallest point and take a screenshot. We are now at the current point of 13.612, and the standing wave at this point looks like this. We can also observe the difference between having the suction cup and not having the suction cup. We will notice that in the case of poor suction cup grounding, the SWR increases. Now, let's reconnect the suction cup to the ground. At this point, the overall resonance frequency shifts to the left. If we want to operate at 14 MHz, we need to shorten our whip a bit more. Okay, the frequency has risen and is now in the operable range, at which point we can operate with the radio. So now we'll hook up our antenna to the FT818 radio. Let's tune to SSB mode and tune to 14.270 MHz and see what kind of signal we can receive. We can hear that the reception is good. Now, we are going to engage in CW communication within the 14.023 MHz frequency range. We use the CS818 tuner for tuning. We are going to connect the radio and the tuner. This tuner can successfully tune with that SWR below 10, so using it eliminates the need for additional adjustments across the entire 14 MHz band. We power on and set the mode of the tuner to FT818, so everything becomes automatically tuned. Here, the stop SWR is set to 1.5, meaning that the tuning is considered successful as long as the SWR is below 1.5. Finally, set the radio to the CW mode at 14.023 MHz, press the tuner's tune button, and everything is complete. Go ahead and make those QSOs. Hold on. Let's interrupt for a moment. My 818 just ran, ran out of battery, so I'm, uh, and luckily, I have another radio in my car, the IC705, and then I'm going to uh, continue, operate on 20 meter bands with my 705. Let's go. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in this product, feel free to visit our official website for more details and information. You can make a purchase directly on our website or choose the nearest distributor.